So friends, this is Japanese sweet yam or kamote. So I have to wash this and using my vegetable peeler, I peeled uh, this sweet yam or kamote. These are the peelings. Then I am going to slice this one. There you go, friends. So I slice this thinly. So whatever slices you decide to do it, whatever makes you happy, simply you can always go ahead. Here you go. I preheated my frying pan. Then I'm going to fry this using my olive oil. Doesn't really matter what kind of frying oil you will be using. But I like using olive oil. You don't really need to have olive oil in frying this. So make sure your pan is preheated prior to frying your sweet yam or camote. So friends, I have prepared this paper towel. So there's plate underneath. So paper towel. And I'm using my frying equipment. Tongs as... Um, my equipment to fry that one so i use paper towel to drain the excess oil after frying so welcome here at la Arnie's kitchen and food creations so let's fry our kamote <laughs> so you can drizzle a little bit of brown or white sugar or a little bit of um, salt and pepper so it's up to you so there you go, it's ready for frying. So there's nothing here being added, so just plain kamote. Your heat or your flame should just be low medium so that your kamote will be cooked gradually and um, fully cooked. Once this is golden brown, so we'll try to uh, flip it over or turn it over. Wonderful friendship, you can either boil or um, steam your kamote. <laughs> this is very, very delicious because this is Japanese type of kamote and it's so sweet, but a little bit pricey. But it doesn't matter as long as we're going to eat kamote this time. <laughs> this will serve us our lunch. I mean, la snacks, I mean. So the sides are um, turning into the brown. This is very crunchy. Here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations, cooking and baking, they're always make fun and easy here. Thus, it gives you the idea on what to prepare for your family's next meal. My simple goal in my kitchen is simply for fun, sharing, and learning. So simply go to La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations or at my Facebook page, La Arnie Mary, M-A-R-Y. So friends, this is quite done, so I'll have to take this out. And put that into my paper towel. Nice golden brown. Then continue the same process.
so wonderful friends this is quite done so i'm using bamboo skewers actually <laughs> to pick up this goodies i should say fried goodies it is much easier for me let it drip for a few seconds perfecto it's done okay now using the same oil that i'm using for frying i am going to fry eggs okay i'm going to drizzle that with a little bit of oil i mean sorry salt so drizzling some salt okay i have here my dried parsley flakes so i'm going to add that one you can use whatever um, dry herbs you have But that is very, very optional, lovely friends. I just would like to have it as an extra flavor. So once again, I'll have to drain that using my paper towel for the excess oil to be out. This is quite done. I'll turn off my flame, voila. So our, our fried eggs or sunny side up eggs, it's done with our fried sweet yam or potato sweet potato yams or camote so the eggs that i just fried i'm going to have it paired with this nice roma tomatoes and i'm going to slice that one so there you go i slice the tomatoes So wonderful friends, this is our fried eggs with tomatoes, nice tomatoes, and our sweet camote or fried yams. And this uh, eggs, this will be paired with La Arnie's homemade um, garlic chili oil. I made this and this is very very affordable that you can buy from me at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. So before using it, you have to give a good shake. And just get a little bit of that and put that on top. And that will serve as your appetizer or little sausawan. So here, this is our uh, La Arnie's uh, homemade garlic chili sauce at a very affordable price. <laughs>
Oh, ju that is just for fun. Okay, thank you, wonderful friends, for watching Laarnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Stay tuned for more cookings and bakings here at my little kitchen. Bye for now. Stay tuned for more cookings next time. And of course, baking from Laarnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Saying you, dali mga unata, come join with us as we're going to have our, I don't know if this is lunch or brunch or it's very late already. <laughs> But anyway, we will eat. <laughs>